time of year to head out to your favorite theme parks. I was at Disney World in Orlando, Florida not too long ago and was inspired to create this tutorial. I can show you the world. It's best to start off with primer because you want your makeup to last as long as possible. I was at Disney for 13 hours straight. Sunscreen is so important. Here I'm using Iku sunscreen. It's a dry formula so you won't get that greasy, oily feeling. Using a small amount, evenly dot your face and blend the sunscreen. The texture is similar to mousse, so it should blend very easily. Your sunscreen should be at least SPF 35 UVA and UVB. Protecting your skin from UV rays will prevent premature wrinkles. Using Revlon's Colorstay Active Foundation, squeeze out a tiny amount and evenly apply the foundation. This foundation is water resistant and sweat proof, which are important factors because theme parks are so hot and you might be on a few water rides. Don't forget to apply your concealer. Using Lancome's Dual Finish Powder Foundation and Iku's Handcrafted Kabuki Brush, load up your brush and apply your powder all over your face to set the foundation. You can also store this brush in the bag to use it later for touch-ups. Quickly fill in your brows. And apply brow gel to preserve the shape and the brow pencil. Using L'Oreal's Liquid Eyeliner, I recommend using liquid eyeliner if you're going to be doing outdoor stuff because it will last longer and not smudge. Rest your pinky on your cheek for balance and support and start lining your eyes and lightly feather out the end. Keep the eyeliner thin and clean. This part is optional, but I wanted to keep the cute Disney theme. I decided to add three dots on my lower lashes. This will give your eyes a more animated look. Here I'm using accent lashes instead of waterproof mascara because waterproof mascara might flake. Using false lashes will not only make your eyes look more dramatic, but the waterproof glue will last long enough for an entire day at a theme park. Now curl your lashes so your natural and false lashes will blend in better using Shu Uemura's Lash Curler. Using the liquid eyeliner again, coat your lashes with it. This will make your lashes look super natural, but darken them to a point where they will look thicker. Your lashes also won't smudge as much. Using Bobbi Brown's Pot Rouge in Calypso Coral, or use any coral blush, Dab the excess on the back of your hand and apply this color along the apples of your cheeks. Even though you probably won't need blush because if it's hot, your cheeks will have a natural flush, you still want to look picture perfect. Using Iku's handcrafted blush brush, this part is optional. I'm applying a shimmering highlighter on the high points of my cheeks. This will give my face a nice healthy glow. Finish off with Maybelline's lipstick in Pink Please. This is one of my favorite drugstore lipstick. Remember to apply sunblock all over your body. And a reason why I carry Iku sunscreen with me is because you can reapply the sunscreen over your makeup without messing it up. 
Sunscreen stops working after three hours, and if you're outside, you want the best protection. This sunscreen is unique because I'm applying it over my makeup and it's not smudging it. It's mattifying my face at the same time. My good friend opened a t-shirt store and he designed this rice bunny t-shirt. Please check out his site. So now you're finished. You're now ready to head out to the park. You can still look cute while riding these crazy roller coasters and water rides. Remember to use blotting papers to remove excess oil on your skin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Good luck and have fun. Music by Late Night Alumni, A Whole New World, and Q and Divi, Part of Your World.